Welcome to the Relationship Recovery Podcast, hosted by Jessica Knight, a certified life coach who specializes in narcissistic and emotional abuse. This podcast is intended to help you identify manipulative and abusive behavior, set boundaries with yourself and others, and heal the relationship with yourself so you can learn to love in a healthy way. Hello, and as always, thank you so much for being here. Today, I want to take a step back to further unpack gaslighting because when we are in an emotionally abusive relationship, we are often being gaslit constantly and we don't know it or we know it, but we can't respond to it. We can't handle it. We can't hold it in perspective. We are being gaslit and we are not thinking about things clearly, mostly because, or probably frequently told our perspective is wrong. The way that we're seeing it is wrong. I've even been told that I perceive wrong, meaning that even the things that I do to understand something is wrong. And regardless of if I'm seeing something clearly or not, it's still my journey to decide if I'm seeing it clearly or a healthy partner would try and understand and unpack that, but an unhealthy partner would not. An unhealthy partner wants to tell you what you're perceiving and why it's wrong. And so, and what a right perception would be, which is abuse that is gaslighting that is telling you how to think. And so I just wanted to take a second to further unpack gaslighting because if you are being emotionally abused, you know what? They're right. You're not seeing it clearly because you're likely also giving them a lot of outs for this poor behavior, for abusive behavior, because you are trying to make sense of what's going on. Gaslighting is essentially a systematic way to make somebody believe that he or she is crazy. It's a method of constantly discrediting you. And it happens when a person senses or perceives something about the aggressor that he or she, meaning the aggressor, does not want to admit. They don't want to own. They don't want to look at. And when the person being gaslit flags it, the aggressor typically denies whatever they are perceiving or sensing. And it's more than just disagreeing. It's not, I don't see it that way. There's usually an overt way of presenting that your perception is not valid or they use tone and in a window to show you that your perspective is wrong. And this is used so that you doubt yourself. Usually the aggressor is coming off with so much certainty that over time, this repeated pattern causes somebody to completely doubt their sanity. They doubt their version of reality. They could have journaled about this the day that it happened and they would go back and think that they were wrong. They might even remember past situations with past people that feel resonant to this situation and go back and say that they were wrong. Now that's abusive because if you're doubting your perception, your version of reality, you're not able to actually have a perspective that feels like this is who I am. This is what I stand for. This is what I know is true. Or even this is my perspective. What's yours? Okay, let's meet in the middle. Let's find a way to get there. That doesn't happen with somebody that's gaslighting you because that option isn't even available to you. But like I said, over time, this repeated pattern, you tend to completely doubt your reality. And if you're in a relationship with somebody and they're living a double life or like they're saying one thing, doing another, that is gaslighting because the outside world only knows one side of them. A lot of gaslighters only tell one side of the story, and it's not one that meets in the middle. And one important part that I want to highlight is that denial is a large part of gaslighting. Denial essentially is deliberate lying. Many abusers, many aggressors will point to either being intoxicated or raged or in a trauma response as to why they gaslit in the first place, claiming that they don't remember. But in those cases, they should be relying on other truths, your truth, other facts, not just what they think may be true or the pieces that they know are true. And a common pattern when this starts to happen is that they will mix many true statements with a few lies. So you start being unable to tell what's actually going on. They might even defend their position, defend what happened. Even say, you know what, you're right about this, this, and this, but 
this, 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 and this, you're wrong. So it gives you the perception that you guys might actually be on the same page, but you're not. I have a few podcasts on gaslighting, all of which I will put in the show notes. I really recommend that if you are feeling confused, torn, stuck, go listen to gaslighting. Go learn more about gaslighting. Learn about signs and how it shows up and how you'd feel because I guarantee you, if you are feeling this way, there's probably something going on that you are unable to really make sense of because it has been set up so that it doesn't make sense. As always, you can reach out to me at jessica at jessicanightcoaching.com. You can email me. You can find me at emotionalabusecoach.com and on Instagram at emotionalabusecoach.com.